Hello there, seventh graders. This is Mr. Kashi speaking. Uh, as you can see, I will not be making it in today, uh, but that doesn't mean that we can't go through the lesson here together. Our uh, schedule for today is up on the board. Uh, our first thing that we'll do is um, we'll actually take attendance. Homework questions will not be taken because I am not there. So if attendance has not been taken, please uh, please have the sub do so. And uh, then, because I'm not there, we're going to collect the homework. Uh, I, I'll take a look at it myself, I'll correct it, give you any feedback that I see fit. Um, the main part of our lesson today is 8-3, which is perimeter and area of a triangle. Okay, just uh, I, You guys have done this before, it's a little bit more of a review here in 7th grade, but it is uh, important to understand this stuff for what we're going to be learning later in the chapter. And because it's a video today, there should be plenty of work time um, to work individually on your assignment, which will be out of the book, as you can see. Okay, the first thing, you should have uh, notes out in front of you. If there's any time that you need to have the video stop so you can copy down notes, please do not hesitate to raise your hand. Have the sub stop the video so you can copy down what is needed. Today is on 8-3, area and perimeter of a triangle. So the first question I have to ask is, what is a triangle? We have to really think about what a triangle is from a different angle than we're used to it. We can't just think of it as three sides and three angles and this, this polygon. Okay, So a lot of the times we think of triangles as this. We, there's a base, there's a height, uh, sometimes it's an acute triangle like this, uh, sometimes it's a right triangle like that, uh, sometimes it's an obtuse triangle, Okay, sometimes all the sides are the same, sometimes they're different. Okay, But we have to get this terminology down. So first one is the base of a triangle. Any side of the triangle really can be the base. It does not matter which side it is. Okay, because you could be able to flip this, um, you'd be able to flip any one of these triangles around and the base actually changes. So it can be any side uh, that you would like. All right, and the height of the triangle, this is a little bit longer. Okay, make sure you pause the video, make sure everybody gets this down, checks the spelling. The length of the perpendicular line segment from a vertex to the base opposite the vertex. That's very confusing. Okay, So this height, basically they're talking about pick your vertex like here and this is the point that is perpendicular to the opposite side like right there. Right? And then it's that imaginary line. It's measuring the distance from this vertex to this point right there. And we need that to find the area of a triangle. Okay, Like I said, if you need some time to copy that down, please don't hesitate to ask for extra time on that. But I have to move on due to um, the length of our video here. Okay, So what we have to do is we have to think about this in a different way. A triangle isn't just three sides. Okay. To understand the area of a triangle, what we have to do is we have to think of it as half of a parallelogram. So this blue line cuts us in half, and I'd like you to do that on your notes as well. Okay. This is the way we need to think about it in terms of finding the area of a triangle. Okay. So if we wanted to find the area of a triangle, what we would do is we would actually find the area of this whole parallelogram and then we would divide it by divide it by 2 or multiply it by 1 half. So the area of the parallelogram would be base times height. Okay? But that's the whole parallelogram. What we have to do is we have to uh, multiply it by 1 half. Okay? Cuz we're not talking about the whole parallelogram. We're just talking about half of it. Some other ways that you could write it. Okay, probably using your calculator, you'd probably want to use 0 0.5 times the base times the height. Or there's some people that would like to uh, rather have um, base times the height, and instead of um, multiplying, they're going to divide it by 2. Any one of those will work. I, prefer, I like uh, the 0 0.5 because usually I'm using my calculator. Um, to calculate the area of a triangle anyways. But 0.5 times the base times the height, 1 half times the base times the height, base times the height divided by 2 are all going to give you the correct answer. So moving on down here, I'll kind of, I'll leave that 
one of the forms for you up there. Finding the area of a triangle, right here, the area, remember it's 0.5 times the base times the height. So we have to take our base, in this case, which is 8, we have to take our height, which is 5 feet, and if we're finding the area, we don't really need these two. All we need is the base times the height. So what we would punch into our calculator is 0 0.5 times 5 times 8. But now I could probably do this one in my head. I know that 5 times 8 is 40, and I know that half of 40 would equal 20. Now remember, we're talking about an area here, and so our area would be cubic, or so, sorry, square feet. 20 square feet would be the um, area of that triangle right there. Okay? If uh, we could go ahead and, and uh, pause the video and give some work time to try and find out the area to this uh, obtuse triangle right there. Okay? They give you three numbers. Really, you only need two. You need the base and the height to find the area of that triangle. So go ahead and pause um, the video, and then I will uh, go, I'll move on to the next slide here. All right, moving on. These are not uh, clicker questions today. These are not clicker questions today. These are just going to be flat out because I'm not there. We can't use the clickers. Um, now we're going to be talking about uh, the area of this triangle. Basically, taking those out, okay? So the area of this triangle would be 0.5 or half times 36 times 12. This one you're probably going to need your calculator with, okay? A little bit higher numbers there. So if we were to plug in 0.5 times 36 times 12, we would get an area of 216 square meters. 216 square meters. All right. Moving on. This triangle down here, we would like to find the perimeter. Okay, so once again, they give us a little bit more information than we need to uh, than we need to know. If uh, we want to find the perimeter, we just have to add up the uh, the side lengths. And so to do that, we don't really need the height. We don't need to know that the height of um, that triangle is 17 inches. We just need to take 18, 24, and 22 and add them up. 18, 22, and 24. Now you can take a calculator, but I can find out that that's 40, and uh, 40 plus 24, that's going to be 64. 64, and that is just going to be in linear inches. Linear inches. We're actually just calculating the linear length of all three of those side lengths um, added up. So we would just take those 18 plus 22 plus 24 and I know you all have done that in the past. Perimeter is a little bit easier. You guys really understand how perimeter works. Area is a little bit um, not so much challenging but you do have to use the uh, the equation there and remember that it's half times the base times the height. So moving on Moving on, our assignment is as follows, okay? So you guys should have plenty, absolutely plenty of time to get this um, at least started in class, if not finished. So it's on page 286. Uh, our main dish today is problems 8 through 16, and you have to choose four or more evens. Uh, the side dish today is going to be 18 through 26. Choose uh, four or more evens there as well, and your dessert is numbers 28 through 32 and choose two or more evens for that as well. All right, I'll be taking plenty of questions when I get back. Um, make sure that if you uh, need to go back on this video, please uh, ask the sub to rewind and maybe go over another part that you didn't really understand. Um, but other than that, please have individual work time for the rest of the hour. I will see you when you get back and make sure to keep your stick on the ice.